Ah, no. All right, so um, once again, it is really, really white outside, and I look really, really white. Look how white I look. Although I, my eyes look really, really pretty. Mm. Okay. So today's topic, I am talking about, well, a couple different things, but I wanted to talk about questions that straight girls ask lesbians. And also, I wanted to touch on um, a lot of straight girls automatically think, I don't know why, but a lot of straight girls automatically jump the gun and say, that lesbian likes me. It's like, no, don't flatter yourself. <laughs> um, it, it's not that we'd like you, because that's, that's not true. Hang on, wait till the phone stops ringing. I will be right back. I was just cleaning your face off a little bit. Woo! Okay, so let's get to the questions because frankly, I just don't understand. So the first question that I've gotten from some straight girls, the first one always always is, how do you decide which one of you is the man? in the relationship. Well, um, I should be more sympathetic to this question since frankly I wonder the same thing about straight couples. I mean, let's just that's just that's that's just the truth of the matter. I mean, I wonder the same thing. Next question is I hooked up the girl once, so that makes me buy, right? Well First, I don't understand why is it Oh man. It's just not working out the way I planned for today. Maybe we can do this again for the third time. I might actually move spots because I look green. A greenish white. Oh my god. <laughs> this video does not want to cooperate with me today. What is going on? Hang on. Maybe if we put it here. Do I look whitewashed still? Or do I look a little better? <laughs> if this doesn't work, I don't care. I'm doing the video right he freaking here. Right here! <sighs> okay. I still look whitewashed. But you know what? I, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore. I actually even look more light washed. I have no face features. You know, guys, <laughs> the internet hates me today. Going back over here. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Let's rock. Okay, come on, let's, let's get to, to the video. Jesus. Stop effing around. Alright, guys, if you don't like this position... <laughs> okay, <laughs> never mind. Okay, so what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted again with the phone for the second time in a row, I was saying, um... A girl's asked me they hooked up with the girl once, so that makes them bi. So, firstly, I don't understand why it is that straight girls come to me <laughs> with this question, as if I'm, a, like, an expert on all things gay. Straight girl. <laughs> you probably know better than I do. I mean, maybe... Ask yourself these questions if you think it is something worth thinking about. You know what I mean? Like, secondly, no, it doesn't make you bisexual. I used to kiss boys, and on strange occasions, too. Weird. Um, but 
I did not identify as straight or bisexual. Um, there are always circumstances surrounding intimacy with someone or of either gender. Were you drunk? I mean, was the person a close friend, a stranger, did perhaps a joke or public makeout session go a bit too far? Do you regret the decision? Did you enjoy it? How far did you go? I mean, did you kiss a girl and like it? Did it taste like cherry chapstick? What? I mean, I'm, I'm, as I'm telling you this, I am realizing that this question is not an incredibly stupid question in itself. Still, do not assume that all lesbians have sexual sexuality down to a science. I mean, I don't. I mean, I just, I just know how I am. <laughs> That's it, you know? Okay, so another question is, so that girl I saw you talking to, is she your partner? Okay, all right. This is where it gets a little upsetting and confusing. If a straight acquaintance sees you with a woman they do not know, they automatically assume that you are together or that you're sleeping together or that you're, like, hooking up. Now, I remember a few months ago, um, a friend of mine, straight, by the way, um, came over, and we were talking or whatever, and uh, she started talking about, like, something, like, years ago, and um, she was like, so, hey, is that your, um, your, well, you know, your, and I'm like, your what? I mean, sometimes people don't even wait until, like, they know the situation. I mean, they just think that, you know, she's, how do I explain this? It's like the question of the month, you know, like, or they're, like, pointing at the TV The girl on TV, and they're making a V with their fingers like this. And I'm just like, what? Like, like, what are we doing? Are we doing sign? What are we doing here? Are we doing sign language? Konnichiwa? Konnichiwa? I mean, what? What are we talking about? What is you going like this to the TV with that girl and going like this? Like... I don't know. I mean, it's another thing. I don't want to sleep with every single celebrity or every single girl that's on TV. It's just, <laughs> no. <laughs> so, you know, a lot of my friends, you know, in the past years never really understood, like, lesbian sex. So, you know, a friend would say to me, like, how can you do that? Like, What's the appeal? Now, notice her that the question isn't how do it do it? How do I do it? Rather, the question is how can I? Look, the way I see it, sexuality is a very diverse phenomenon. And in the same way, a straight girl cannot convince me that testosterone, tes testosterone is sexy, I cannot convince someone that what I am attracted to is sexy. For whatever reason, straight girls cannot understand why lesbians do not like to have sex with men. And often, they are uncomfortable with the thought of two women having sex. Frankly, to them, intercourse is normal and lesbian sex is kinky. Okay, let me just put it out there that <laughs> I'm going there. Lesbian sex, there is still intercourse. Just because there's no penis involved or whatever, there, there's still intercourse. Whether it's with the toy or fingers, there's intercourse going on. Mm -hmm. It's happening. <laughs> Alright, so the next question I often get is, so you think, so do you think you ever... I'm sorry. So, do you think you are a man in a woman's body? 
On the contrary, honey. As a lesbian, I would never, 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 ever want a man in my body. <laughs> and no, I'm not a man in a woman's body. I'm a woman in a woman's body. And I am damn proud of oh, it. Look how green I look. Or white. Greenish white. What is, camera, what is up with you today? You are not cooperating with me. All right, so, um, I get this question a lot. You know, I'm straight, right? Okay, thank you for telling me, number one. As soon as a lot of girls learn that I'm a lesbian, they feel the need to inform me that they are not lesbians themselves. Like I just said, you know I'm straight, right? Sometimes it is not stated so transparently. You know, they might respond to this new um to this new by saying, "Really? That's cool. I mean, I'm not or anything, but that's totally cool with me." Now, straight girls, you have no reason to panic. I'm like you. I assume you're straight unless stated on otherwise. Not saying that in a positive um, you know, habit, but um, you know, heterosexuals seem to be majority. I mean, I just don't get it. I, I, I don't know. I don't, just don't get it. The next question I get is, what's your type? I mean, would you ever consider dating someone like me? Well, look, just because I like girls and you're a girl does not mean I feel comfortable telling you why I would or would not date a girl like you, okay? I am not going to answer this question. There are other ways to boost the ego than to, you know, present oneself as the, the template of one's sexual partner. And I have a partner, so it doesn't really matter. So. The next question I always get in the past or now, whatever, was your child, what was your childhood like? Were you assaulted? Did your dad leave? Were you abused? Now, after learning that I was a lesbian, a classmate asked me if I had a rough childhood. And that was, and this was not really a one-time question. I mean, when people learn that I'm a lesbian, my personal his history is questioned. It's like, you know, have I had a, had difficult and uncomfortable sexual relationships with men? You know, absolutely. Of course, my relationships with guys have been uncomfortable. Because I am a lesbian, and that's why they were uncomfortable. And let's get the record straight, there was one guy. <laughs> you know, whether people will admit to themselves or to others, a lot of people will still categorize homosexuality as a, um, you know, like a perversion or illness. Also, considering that these are commonly viewed as extremely personal topics, it is not fair to assume that just because I'm open about my sexual orientation that I am open about every personal detail of my life. You know what I mean? Like... I just, I don't get that. So, then, you know, you have the questions that are like this. So, you're like a femme, or are you a butch, or are you like a, a dyke, a butchy dyke, and what's a dipstick lesbian? Someone asked me what a dipstick lesbian was. Yes. My guess is that she misheard and just assumed that a dipstick was some kind of lesbian sex toy or something. I, don't, I, I just don't even know. Um, there is, of course, you know, a realm of gender neutral, you know. And here are a few examples of questions I have received from straight people. Here we go. Have you read the Bible? So you know what God thinks about homosexuality, and that doesn't scare you? Um, no. 
some people have misguided notion that um, homosexuals are unfamiliar with the Bible. I have gone to Catholic schools my whole life, and I am Catholic. And like every other member of the student body, us closed cases had to read the Bible too. And yes, there were times when, you know, uh, things were analyzed and discussed in depth. And yes, there were times that the laws and the Bible scared me into thinking I was going to burn in fucking hell. But I got over that fear a long, long time ago. And I feel that this is a, a heavy topic and I should not go into depth about biblical, you know, analysis, the religious stances on homosexuality. But what I will say is this. Isn't the greatest sin to deny who you are? Be you a painter or a preacher or a carpet muncher? Isn't that the greatest sin to deny who you are? I'm just going to leave it at that. So, all right, so the next question is, can I give my neighbor your number? She's a lesbian too. Okay, now... Number one, not as not every lesbian knows every single lesbian. And that's another thing. It's like, we're not the L word, okay? People think that because, you know, you've seen the L word, all the lesbians are friends with lesbians, okay? Maybe it, it, maybe it is because, you know, lesbians are perceived as minority for some reason or whatever. Straight people always want to set me up with, the only other lesbian that they know. And as stupid as it is, I guess it is kind of sweet of the straighties to try. I mean, maybe they are just worried that, you know, we are never going to find mates or we're struggling to find our mates, you know, or our significant other. You know, it, it could also be to prevent us from prying on their woman, you know, but I should give them... The benefit of the doubt, I guess. I mean, but no, I don't want your neighbor's number. I don't care if she's a lesbian. Okay, so the next question is, how does it work? Well, what are what is it? What are we talking about? It. I just tell people that two women just fuse their vaginas together, and spirits become one, much like in Avatar. I have yet to find a girl who is willing to disprove this method. So, for all I know, it's possible. <laughs> so the next question is, so what's the deal with, you know, like, insert lesbian bisexual celebrity name here? Again, I'm not an expert on all things that are gay or all people that are gay. And again, just because that said celebrity is gay or a lesbian... That doesn't mean that I know about it. Like, I don't know everything about lesbians or gays. And then there's this question that people ask me all the time. Would you be offended if I asked ask you a... Uh, cut. <laughs> Would you be offended if I ask you a question? Well, when you have to ask, you're, you're already off to a bad start. But sure. Go right ahead. I mean, you've already asked me if you can ask me a question. So therefore, I mean, you're off to a bad start because you've already asked me if you can ask me a question. And let's just be honest. That's just a little weird already. <laughs> la la la. So another thing that's always just assumed, I think I may have said this, but it's always assumed that us lesbians like every straight girl out there okay number one just because you are straight doesn't mean that I'm attracted to you or doesn't mean that I look at you and I'm thinking to myself oh my god that girl's hot I want to be with her no no to me I just see that I'm just another person and I am who I am I don't look at it like you know like every single girl is attractive and even if they are attractive and they're straight 
it does not mean that I want to date them, okay? I am not into the whole recruiting um, girls. I just don't do that. Um, I mean, do a lot of straight girls in the past have a lot of straight girls actually always fallen for me? Yes. And I don't know why. I don't know what it is about me, but I like it. A lot of the straight girls and a lot of the bisexual girls, they are always interested in dating me or, you know, like, I think it's just a thrill and I think they just want to experiment or something. I don't know. But on the contrary, I, I just, I don't play the whole hey, let's play a game and let's see if I can, can re recruit you to the side, the, the gay side, you know? Like, I just, no, I don't care if you're straight or you're gay or bi or you're green or you're whitish green like I am right now. I, I don't care. I just, I really don't care what your sexual orientation is, you know? And then last but not least, I hate when guys ask me, really? So you really are a lesbian? To fully appreciate the stupidity of this question, one must hear the question and the way it is asked, okay? I get r responses all the time like, but you sometimes wear makeup or you sometimes, but your hair used to be long. Okay, well, it may seem, you know, like... I don't even know the word I'm looking for. The worst thing is most people tell me, but you're so pretty. And I don't know whether I should find that offensive or a compliment. I take about five seconds to blush and be flattered until I realize that they are directly implying that lesbians cannot be pretty or should not be pretty. I mean... It already, it's already bad enough that they cannot imagine a lesbian being feminine, okay? But saying that we cannot be pretty, seriously? Like, if we couldn't be attractive, why would we pursue other lesbians slash girls? I mean, I guess straight guys want to believe they have a shot with every beautiful woman and that there is less probability they will go home with an ugly one. A rather sick dare, I say. Dare I say, like, faces fantasy? I mean, I don't know. And last but not least, let me just throw one more question that guys ask me. What kind of girls do you like? While this might actually seem like a question that shows a guy is interested in learning more about you, but the truth is, what he's really asking is, can you describe a girl so I can imagine you two making out? That, this is a straight guy's way of trying to make your personal life interesting to himself, for himself. He doesn't care about what kind of girls you like. He just wants to imagine you guys making out. So that concludes, you know, my topic. And, you know, I hate it when, say, when guys would say, well, what would I have to do to change your mind? You know, what can I do to make you come to my side? Usually when a guy finds himself persistently trying to flirt with a lesbian... It's not because he's particularly attracted to her. It's because their egos can't take it. They can't take that we lesbians, like me, like girls. We don't like men. So, you know, they want to change our mind. Not because, you know, they're particularly attracted to me or her or whatever. It's because their egos just can't fucking take it. It kills them inside. It just kills them inside because... They don't understand why we like, why girls like the, the V, the V, and not the, the D. How would I, how would I, here we go. Is that a backwards D to you? Oh, D, uh, whatever. So, 
that's it. That's my topic for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the crotch below or in the V below. Leave them down there. And I will get back to you. Also, um, if you want, be sh uh, leave a video response. I would love to hear you guys' inputs. And especially if you're a lesbian and you get questions that are crazy from girls or guy or straight girls, I would like to know. So send them over my way. Do a video response, whatever you want. Um, I would like to touch the topic. No, just because I just touched you doesn't make me want to like you. Or, I already like you, but it doesn't make me want to date you like that. <laughs> so, I have the hiccups. I'm going to go. And I'm becoming green again. I love you guys. Peace and love. Um, be kind. Be cool. Don't judge. Don't judge me because I'm a lesbian. And straight girls... Don't judge me and don't think just because I don't want to date you or don't like you like that doesn't mean anything is think outside the box. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry. I try hard. Don't sit so close to me. I don't know what to tell you. Sheesh. Jesus, Mingara is Gemara. All right, I love you guys. I will talk to you. Uh, I want to say tomorrow. I didn't know today was Friday. My days are all mixed up. Oy. But um, up there is the link to subscribe for more. And over there is my previous link, so check them out. And I will talk to you guys soon.